in power bi whatever the data that we have and for which particular visual we have to have the date related information then people generally talk about the line chart or the family of line charts so now the point is that if i have two axes such as x axis and y axis so other than my existing y axis if i would like to have some another axis what is the probable approach which visual we have to use how we have to use hi i am m asif hussain from nohap academy what are we going to learn in this video we are going to learn and understand how to add the secondary axis in a chart in power bi so by the end of this video you could able to get an idea so how to use the different charts with secondary axis in power bi so watch till the end my dear viewers here i have a data so as you can see that we have the date related informations in a hierarchical way that we have it such as we have a order date year quarter month and day and in the same way we have ship date with the date hierarchy year quarter month and day am i right so now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to choose a line chart so in this line chart as you can see that we have x axis so in this x axis let me go and choose the order date information and in the y axis let me go and choose the sales okay so now i have got the visual but it is not something which is meaningful so for this what i am going to do let me go and remove this year and let me go and remove this day so now what's happening i am getting in a quarter perspective so even if i would like to remove quarter i can go with the month so now let's consider so for each month how much sales i have that i could able to get it or predict it from this visual so let me go and do a small formatting for this one for a clear understanding i'm switching on the data labels okay and i'm increasing the size of this data labels i'm making it bold increasing the size to 12 making the color black and in the same way i'll go with my x axis x axis also i'll make it bold increase the size and i'll make it black i'll come to my y axis i'll go to the values and i'll also increase the size of y axis and i'll make it black so now as you can see my dear viewers here we have x axis with month information as you can see january february march april may june july august september october november december okay all the 12 months of a year we have it here and in the y axis what do we have we have the sales information okay so till here it is fine we can able to predict it and we can able to understand also so from the january month we have got the sales of 95000 and in the month of february 60000 so 59751.25 now the point is that if you would like to add some another access to it so what you have to do in power bi itself we have an option called secondary y axis we also have an option called secondary y axis so in this secondary y axis i am going to add another information let me consider profit okay so now we can see that here we have got the secondary axis so let me go and show you in the formatting till before we didn't add this profit secondary y axis we did not have the option secondary y axis so now what i'm doing in the secondary y axis as well let me go and do the small formatting i'll make it to bold increase the size i'll make it black as you can see earlier earlier we have got the y axis which is sales now what we have done we have added another y axis here so here you can see the axis so this is the profit okay so now in these two lines that you have it so here the 
light blue color line is indicating the sum of sales and the dark blue color line is indicating sum of profit so the secondary y axis is indicating as the profit as we have taken the information here so this is one visual which we can add and show the secondary axis to a visual so in the same way we will go and talk about the another visual as well so here we have line and stacked column chart so in this line and stacked column chart in the x axis let me go and choose the category okay in the column y axis let me go and choose the sales so my dear viewers as you can see that in this particular visual we have got category in my x axis and in the y axis i have got sales but i could even go and add another axis here which is the line y axis okay so here what i'm going to do let me go and add profit okay so how much profit i have got that it is getting displayed so let me go and choose uh, formatting and do a small formatting here as in the y axis i have the values in the terms of millions so let me go and change it so that i can understand something in thousands okay all right so now we can see that this is a visual here okay if you want you could even go and do a small step okay so as i have category okay now let me go and add sub category as well here okay so it is getting you no know, step by step procedure in a furniture how many sub categories we have in office supplies how many sub categories we have in technology how many sub categories we have but depending upon the each sub category that we have got it the line is getting upside down so it is indicating the profit okay so or it is indicating how much loss we have it as you can see for this particular visual if you see okay for furniture under uh, furniture category for table sub category we have the uh, value in a negative which is getting in a loss so the line y axis here it is an another axis to a visual it is a secondary axis to a visual so in the same way we can go and choose for line and clustered column chart as well line and clustered column chart as well so here if you would like to add legend i can go and add legend which is region okay so now it shows me the complete information so if you would like to elaborately uh, you know visualize this particular visual so it is showing me how much sales and how much profit we have got for which region for which category and sub category so this is the secondary axis if you do not want to add the secondary axis which we can remove it and we can just show one visual like this so my dear viewers in power bi whenever we are trying to show the secondary axis it is nothing but it is some additional information that you would like to input and show it to a visual you know in a visual to a customer so in this video we have learned how to add secondary access to different visuals in power bi so thank you for choosing now have academy as your source for it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate the tech world if you have any questions do not hesitate to reach out it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you stay curious and keep learning